Hi BC, it's Rob here with another video and this video is a contest entry for Emma, uh, 8 Vinyl Low. She uh, reached 500 subscribers, so well done Emma. And um, she's running a contest, there's plenty of contests on the BC, I always try to jump in on them. Um, so I wanted to support Emma's channel. Um, it's an interesting contest as well, I've seen a lot of entries, um, so I thought I'd uh, put my two pairs in. So choose five musicians um, and uh, favourite sort of um, riffs by them. So I've decided just to do it a little bit different to sort of think of these five as a band. So um, I've got to come up with a name for my band. Um, my son's in a band and we spent hours and hours and days and days trying to think of a name for the band. Uh, and there was a few names that were kind of left hanging around. So... Um, one of them was uh, a bit of a punk sounding name, so um, the Orange Radiators. So um, these five musicians are going to be in my band called the Orange Radiators. So uh, who's going to play bass in my band? Well, I've decided to choose the bass player with New Order. So that's uh, Peter Hook, who of course was in Joy Division. Um, Peter Hook, of course, from Manchester, and um, just the sound, the the way Peter Hook plays bass guitar, he plays it, he plays it um, like lead guitar, really. Uh, he's got his own sort of style. He's no longer with New Order uh, differences. He's now sort of formed his own band, who tour quite regularly around the UK. Um, and just thinking of sort of Blue Monday. Um, you know, that's heavily influenced by Peter Hook's bass playing. But Peter Hook is, for me, uh, my favourite bass player. I mean, I might wake up tomorrow and pick five different musicians. It's all sort of the mood that you're in and uh, the mood that I'm, on, I'm in this Saturday. I'm going to have uh, Peter Hook as my bass player in the Orange Radiators. So, yeah, Peter Hook from New Order. Now... Who's going to be my guitarist? I mean, I'm not one of these people who um, studies who is technically the greatest guitar player of all time. I'm sure whoever that may be um, wouldn't be my cup of tea anyway. Um, but my favourite um, guitarist is from this band, The Smiths. And it's uh, Johnny Marr. I must apologise, I do not have any vinyl by The Smiths. Uh, my son um, has all my Smiths vinyl. Um, he was a big fan of the Smiths. Not so much at the moment. I think a lot of that's to do with the way Morris is behaving. But uh, like me, he's actually met Johnny Marr at a signing uh, at Piccadilly Records. Uh, and I remember hearing this charming man for the first time and just that intro. Um, the combination of um, Johnny Marr and Morris's lyrics, they, you know, they do fit like hand in glove. Um, and every uh, Smith song has got some Johnny Marr riff in there that just blows your mind. And for me, he's my favourite guitarist. So thinking about this charming man, but also how soon he's now, um, and any Smith track really. So yeah, uh, my guitarist, my choice is from the Smiths and it's Johnny Marr. Now in this um, group of mine um, I've decided to choose a keyboard player so um, who's my favourite keyboard player? Well he's from a band from the 70s and it's Dave Greenfield from the Stranglers so any Stranglers track um, No More Heroes springs to mind um, hanging around uh, the start of Golden Brown um, any Stranglers track is heavily influenced by Dave Greenfield um, his keyboard playing um, really lifts the band I cannot imagine the Stranglers without keyboards um, I mean in the sort of late 70s um, I was into the Stranglers I thought they were a good band um, but it's only over the last 3 or 4 years I've sort of rediscovering the Stranglers and those albums between sort of 77 
um, and 82, 83 are really good albums and Dave Greenfield um, is a fantastic um, keyboard player so yeah um, that's Dave with the moustache Stranglers still touring now I mean I've got friends who have seen the Stranglers live uh, 50 times I've never actually seen the Stranglers live uh, but um, Dave Greenfield is a great um, keyboard player so he makes my band now had quite a bit of difficulty choosing a drummer um, the heartbeat of any band is the drummer um, he's got to be charismatic um, he's just got to have the look and the enthusiasm and I really struggled um, I really like um, Clem Burke from Blondie he had the look he had the style but could he play drums um, he's guested with a lot of bands as well he's really ha highly thought of um, also Pete Defratis from Echo and the Bunnymen uh, when I went to see them live he was just incredible um, and Pete Defratis actually was born on the same day as me he was exactly the same age as me but um, sadly he died in a motorbike accident um, maybe it was about 20 years ago now um, so you know really sad that we lost Pete but the drummer that I've chosen people might sort of raise their eyes a little bit you know because I don't think people consider him to be the greatest drummer of all time but for me I've always loved his drumming and it's Stuart Copeland from the police so a lot of this is to do with the police being the first band I was really into when I was sort of 14 um, I loved Sting I loved Andy Summers and I really loved Stuart Copeland um, the way he played the drums um, just made the police what they were um, on a lot of police tracks sort of uh, reggae influenced but um, Driven to Tears on this album um, one of my favourite police tracks is the one with the longest title. Um, when the world is running down, you make the best of what's still around. I think that is an absolute gem of a song. Um, I think it, there should be a thread of songs on albums that should have been singles. And that would probably be the top of my list because the all round sound on that song, it just makes me feel good. And looking at Stuart Copeland drumming made me feel happy he, he just brought a smile to my face I watched a documentary um, on the BBC earlier this year where he was just investigating drumming and telling the story of drumming and fr from watching that I love him even more um, so quite apt really that he would be the drummer in the Orange Radiators but yeah Stuart Copeland from the police and finally We've got to have a singer so you know who would I choose as a single what vocal um, do I love the most um, it's it's an impossible task really but like I say it's just on this day who am I getting a feeling for and um, it's um, this singer is Debbie Harry so I'm thinking about my band and thinking, you know, if Debbie Harry was the singer, then people would be queuing around the block ten times over. Um, Debbie Harry in 1978 singing Heart of Glass. Um, I mean, I was a teenager and, um, you know, Debbie Harry. Um, I didn't really know what sex appeal was, but, um, you know, it kind of um, awakened me and... Uh, Debbie Harry is just, for me, uh, the best um, sort of lead singer of a band. Um, I mean, you've got to try to think about how she affected music in sort of 77, 78. Um, every uh, magazine had her on the cover, it seemed, and every teenage uh, boy mate friend that I had was intoxicated by Debbie Harry and I, I, lo I love her voice as well um, on Heart of Glass um, 
and on all those singles she just had something um, and if you're a certain vintage like me then uh, Debbie Harry I'm sure is right up there so yeah the single with my band the Orange Radiators would be Debbie Harry and just a vocal probably on Heart of Glass so yeah Debbie Harry so that's it I hope um, my take on your contest is okay Emma um, like I say uh, really enjoy your channel you're a big fan of Cheap Trick who in the UK did not sell um, that well though I do see the album Dream Police knocking around and to be honest I'm been a bit um, ignorant about uh, Cheap Trick um, but I've streamed that album today and um, it's got a new wave pop vibe about it and uh, I was surprised how much I enjoyed it um, the song that I really know by Cheap Trick is I Want You To Love Me which uh, is a great great single um, I don't think it was a big hit in the UK but I've always kind of known that song um, and if I see that album knocking around which I, I tend to see it I think I might actually pick it up because uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed listening to it today um, and Emma's also studying to be a teacher I think she's studying to be an English teacher um, you know and I understand the hard work involved in that I mean my son's um, uh, just started his career as a teacher um, and the hard work starts when you get in the classroom because um, all sorts of things that you don't think about happen when you're a teacher um, and my son's finding it challenging but he is enjoying it so uh, and I'm sure you'll have a successful career as a teacher uh, you come across as a really uh, a really nice person um, and a lot of people have entered this contest and I think that's sort of credit to you come across really genuinely and uh, there's not enough young people on the VC so any young person um, who's part of the vinyl community I think people really like to support them so hope this contest entry has been okay Emma uh, thanks for watching this video enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye for now